It's another week and another episode here on the Well of Inspiration with Wellington and myself right here. Wellington is from the Well of Inspiration and we are part of the Cradle of Life. We bring you information and strategies, different inspirations and ways that you can propel yourself to be a better version of yourself for your business, for your personal life, for those around you. Wellington, welcome back to yet another episode. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be back. How are you doing? We're happy to have you as always. I'm doing great. How about yourself? How are things in well. the Seychelles? I'm doing very, very well. Fantastic. Is it still a bit cool there? Yes, it is. Or yes, has it the is. Heat um, yeah, and oh, a little bit windy fantastic. as well, but I think it's going to subside very soon. <laughs> fantastic. All right, Wellington, let's jump into this week's episode on the Well of Inspiration. What do you have cooking for us this week? You know what, this week I want to speak to something that probably will resonate with a lot of people. You know, it's this idea that we work so hard on our goals, on our dreams, on the things that make sense to us, the things that mean a lot to us. We work hard at these things. We sweat for it, we don't sleep, we wake up early, we put in the hours, we do whatever we have to do. But you know, oftentimes because we are human beings, we need the support of those that are around us. But the sad reality, my friend, is that sometimes the people that are around you that you so want to support you, to defend you, to be on your side cheering for you, sometimes they're just not there to do that for you. Sometimes they are the ones who criticize you. They may be the ones who come out straight mean to you and you don't know what is going on. It gets even worse when those that criticize you or those that don't believe in you are people that are very close to you. Your family, your, rela your close relationships, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your friends, people that you, you really love, people that mean a lot to you, it is possible that they might not believe in the dreams that you're carrying. My friend, there are things you can do to work on your goals or your dreams despite the fact that those around you may not believe in you. Look, you cannot blame them. Your vision is your vision. It was given to you for a purpose. It was not given to them. So the fact that they don't believe in you should not be enough to stop you from going for your goals, going for your dreams, going for the vision that you carry in your heart. It is up to you to understand that they will have their part. Even if they don't believe in you, you still have to go on and achieve whatever it is you have to achieve. Interesting, Wellington. I like this. And I think a lot of us have gone through this process of having people in our lives that don't see what we see. They don't see that vision. They don't see where we want to go. So they criticize what we are doing. And sometimes it's difficult because you have to walk that road on your own, but you still have to do it. And you need to, like you're saying, you need to push forward and you need to believe it is your vision. It was given to you alone and you have to carry it forward. 100%. And you know what? Something that you have to know is that this will call upon you to believe in yourself. When others don't believe in you, do not follow their cue and also start doubting yourself. You have to believe in yourself. What I want to assure you, my friend, as you believe in yourself and work towards your goals and achieve your goals, one thing will happen. Those that did not believe in you will tell everybody how they met you because you've seen success and you've done so well, okay? So don't hold back. Don't slow down because other people are not believing in you. Another thing is that you have to understand and recognize that people's fears are not yours. It is their fears. And don't let their fears hold you back. Sometimes the people that love us, when they don't believe in us, it is because maybe they know our weaknesses. 
Maybe they know the challenges that we faced in the past. They know the journey and they cannot believe that somebody who has walked your journey can actually turn around and do as great as you are dreaming and wishing to do. Their fears are not yours. Don't let their fears hold you back. That's very interesting, Wellington. I think, and sometimes, you know, it comes from people, like you say, who are very close to us. You know, they have these fears for us going into this venture or into this business that we want to do or this vision that we have, and they will project those fears upon us. Like you say, you know, they know us, so they, they project those fears, but we shouldn't let those things, those different fears of people come and break in or try and create cracks where we know we are trying to put a solid foundation. 100%. And you know, sometimes, you know, the reason why people struggle to believe in you or to doubt you, to criticize you, it's because they are looking for their place in your vision. Think about the people that you, that depend on you for financial support. They depend on you for financial support and you provide them support by working in a job nine to five and every, and every month you get a salary and you help them, right? Now, today, you want to come and say, I want to start a business. You are now creating problems for them because now they are wondering, what if the business doesn't work out? What happens to our lifeline? What happens to our line of support? They begin to project their fears towards you through criticism, through doubt, through certain things that you may not understand. And then that can easily translate to you and you begin to also start doubting yourself. But my friend, it is their fear and not yours. Don't let it hold you back. One thing that I also want to take positively from people who don't doubt or don't believe in me especially is that maybe if it's someone close to me, someone who I know loves me, Maybe I take it as a challenge. And I say to myself, potentially, I have not articulated my vision and my dream to them properly enough to convince them that I am standing strong on the ground that I'm standing. I take that as a challenge and then I go back to my vision and I challenge myself to articulate to them in the best way that I can. If someone really loves you and and believes in you, they will allow you to go on your journey even if they don't see what you're seeing. They don't hold you back, okay? So as you work on your goals, as you work on your dreams, as people doubt you and criticize you, take the opportunity to clean up your act. Take the opportunity to clean up your pitch. When you talk to them, build on the conviction, build on the motivation, the confidence that comes from the vision that you carry. Push it along. If still they don't believe in you, then recognize this, my friend. It is not your problem, but their problem. You carry on. Do what you have to do and ensure that you one day can stand and prove that whatever you were standing on was solid ground and today you can see the results of your hard work. Believe in yourself. Wellington, this is absolutely interesting, you know, pushing through those fears that other people have. And I like the way you say, you know, if it's somebody that truly, truly loves you, they may not see your vision, they may not see what you're seeing, but they will help you, they will push you towards whatever it is you're working towards. And those are the people I think that you need in your corner, that those people who will say, okay, I don't see exactly what you are seeing, I don't know how you're going to make this work, but you know what, I'm going to help you, I'm going to push you, and I'm going to be beside you as you take this process to getting to where you feel you need to go. That's very, very true. You know, one thing that I know is that as a person, you've got to recognize that you need people's support, but you don't need their validation. Because sometimes the goals you're seeing in your heart, they are difficult for anybody else to see. When people don't believe in you, sometimes they've got genuine reasons for doing so. They know you. They know that sometimes you don't see things through. 
They know how much you doubt yourself. They, don't, they know that you don't have the money to make that dream come true. They know you. They've got legitimate reasons for sometimes doubting how you're going to be able to see this through. But understand this. You don't need their approval. You simply need their support. And this is the message that you must push across to them to say, my friend, my loved one, my sister, my brother, I know you love me. You may not understand where I'm going, but what I need for you is to just support me. Walk with me, even if you don't know where we're going. Okay, if they truly love you, they will stand by you. And I think, Wellington, you know, when you talk about those people who truly love you standing by you, it gives you as a person who has this vision, that motivation, it's, it's an added bonus to you because if those people are supporting you, despite the fact that they may not understand or have a clue about what you want to do, the fact that they support you is enough to push you and to motivate you and to inspire you to actually get to where you want to go. That is so true. You know, this thing of being of getting validation is something that is ingrained in us as we are raised. I mean, the way we grow up, we are taught to seek validation. Kids run to their mommies and their daddies and they ask, is this okay? What do you think about what I did? Do you like it? If you say you don't like it, the kid doesn't feel good. They don't, maybe they may not do this thing again because they say, but mommy doesn't like this. Daddy doesn't like this. But as we grow, but when we're younger, as we get into those teenage years and we get into our 20s, we become a bit more rebellious, right? That's when we experiment and try things and so on. But we still have at the back of our minds that thought that we need our parents, our loved ones to validate whatever it is we're doing. And I'm saying to you today, as you grow older, as you challenge yourself a bit more in life, understand that you now need to take responsibility. You've got to understand that validation, the validation you sought when you were coming up is no longer a prerequisite for your success today. The prerequisite for your success is your vision, your commitment, and the work you are willing to put into the goal or the dream that you have for yourself. Understand this, you don't need validation, you only need their support. Wellington, I find this interesting as well, you know, when you talk about when you're younger and you have to, you know, kids go to their parents and say, do you like this? Do you not like it? I think it also starts from a very young age. If we as parents of today can look at our children and say, you know, we teach them the way to move forward. We, we ask them what they want to do. If they bring something to, a, to you, to, for example, for approval, you can actually sit with them and explain to them how, you know, these steps should be put into place and these steps, obviously, depending on the age of the child. But I think if we... in enforce these things at a young age, teaching children that, you know, you don't need to be validated for everything that you do. They will be able to have a better sense of themselves and not look or seek for that validation as they grow older. They will be able to be independent and say, you know, I need the support, but the validation, I'm not, I'm not, you know, put off if I don't get the validation. I can still keep trudging on. That is so true, Don. That is so, so, so true. And it brings me to my next point, which is that, you know, there is a need for us to recognize that we are different. And if you are different, embrace that. You are a unique individual with unique abilities, unique qualities that only you can bring to life in this world. The dreams and the goals you have in your life, they were given to you and nobody else will bring them to life. Now, understand that you can be different. Sometimes communicating your vision can turn out to be awkward. You've got nothing in your pocket, nothing in the bank account, but you want to start a business. When you talk to your friend about wanting to start a business, they will challenge you because they don't understand what's going on with you. It doesn't make sense to them, right? So you've got to understand that you are different. As an individual, what do you like as a person? When your friends are not there, when your family is not there, what do you like? Who are you? Embrace that person that you are and then use that person to then go on and do the things that you want to do, even if it doesn't make sense to other people. 
Wellington, this is something that's so difficult for people to do, but I think it's something that's so necessary that people need to sit and reflect on themselves and say, who am I? These are things that I want to do. Put yourself in a position where you can actually look at yourself and allow yourself to embrace fully who Wellington is, who Don is, who the audience, whoever you are watching this episode today, who are you? Embrace that person and allow that person to flourish and to bloom. That is so true. And you know, uh, you are you are who you are. You've got a unique perspective of the world, right? You've got a unique vision that only you can see in your mind's eye. You've got a unique take on specific topics that the world embraces. You've got certain things that you do that you're great at that nobody else may be good at. Embrace that. That's who you are. And then use that to then believe in yourself, have confidence in what you do, understanding that whatever you're doing is given to you and it is given to you for a purpose and what you're doing is embracing the completeness of who you are with all your differences, with all your uniqueness and then moving that into the direction that helps you to achieve the goals you want to achieve, to make a difference to the world you're living in, to be an inspiration to your society and most importantly to bring value to your families, to your loved ones, and to the societies that we live in. Wellington, fantastic stuff coming through today on this episode. When they don't believe in you, we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Wellington will be back with the final word on this episode right here of The Well of Inspiration. In this episode of The Well of Inspiration, it's all about when they don't believe in you. And trust me, so many people will not believe in your vision. They will not believe in those things that you want to achieve. It can be hard. It can be difficult. And what happens when they don't believe in you? It should not push you back. It should allow you to keep moving forward and, you know, prove people wrong that you are capable of doing the things that you want to do, the things that you have set your mind to achieve. Wellington has given you different things that you can put in place when people don't believe in you and how you can actually move forward. Now, he's talked about it being your own vision. It's your vision. It is your own. So it is you who sees the way you want it to go. Those around you may not see the way you see it, but you should trudge on. Now, he's spoken about don't let people's fear hold you back. They may have fears of the fact that you're going into something different, that you're pursuing your vision, but that should not affect you. Allow yourself to propel or to rise above fears from those who are around you. It can be very difficult, especially when it comes from people who are closest to us. These are the people sometimes that can hurt us the most, that can not have that faith in us, and sometimes it can push you back, but don't allow it to do so. Wellington has spoken about you need support you need support and not validation. And I think this one is a really big one. You need support and not validation. It's also talked about you are different. You need to embrace that. And it's so true. No two human beings are the same. You are different from your sister, from your brother, from your parents. You are different. Embrace it. Allow yourself to flourish through all these different things that you might go through when you're trying to get to that vision or trying to bring to life a vision that you have and those people around you uh, you know, they don't understand where you want to go with this vision. Wellington, I'll hand it back to you as we move to wrap up this episode of The Well of Inspiration as you give your final words today on this episode. 
Thank you so much, Don. You know, Albert Einstein once said that the person who follows the crowd will go no further than the crowd, but the person who walks alone will find himself in places that no one has ever been. My friends, this is a call for you to believe in yourself. This is a call for you to understand that those that you love may not always see the things that you're seeing in your mind. This is a call for you to recognize that sometimes the people you trust might not be there when you need them, especially when you're working towards something important to you. In those moments, it calls upon you to believe in yourself and understand that you do not need anybody to validate you, but you need people to support you. And when they don't support you, it means that sometimes you've got to stand alone. Sometimes you can't walk on this journey with anybody else but by yourself. Those who love you will often catch up with you later on in the journey because they love you, they feel for you, and they know that whatever you're going for means a lot to you. They will come through and support you. But the most important part is that you have to understand that at the beginning of the journey, you may find nobody believing in you. But even in such circumstances, it's up to you to see the vision through. That's the word for today. Thank you very much. Wellington, thank you very much for inspiring and disseminating this information and sharing your wisdom and your knowledge on the different things that can actually motivate and inspire people to take their different projects, their lives, the people around them and propel them and, you know, lift them up with them as they take the next level or the next step into whatever they're doing. If you do want to get in touch with Wellington, please free, feel free to do so. You can get in touch with him. He has a website, www.wellofinspiration.com. You can find a lot of motivational content on there. Please pay it a visit. Leave him a message on there. If you want to comment on today's episodes, the comments bar is down below. So please place your comments. We will get back to you. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and be a part of the journey with the Well of Inspiration and the Cradle of Life. Don't forget, we also have a website at The Cradle of Life. It's www.thecradleoflife.co. Wellington, it's been fantastic. It's been great. When people don't believe in you, you just keep going for that vision and make it happen. 100%. Thank you so much, Don. Have yourself a great week ahead. Huh? And the same to you. And the same to you. Till next time, take care. Take care. Cheers.